So I'm riding my bike to work just like any other day. But then I get this notification on my phone. Chat GPT is now live and online. So I rush to my computer to check it out. And you know what's weird? It's not actually on the openai.com website. Nope. The ChatGPT live example actually shows up in two places you'd never think about. But before we get into that, let me get freshened up and ready for work. Ah, that's much better. Let's check this out. Now, when using ChatGPT Model 4, what you're going to notice is if I ask it something like, find me the top e-bikes for 2023, you're going to see that it comes up with somewhat of a little error. As an AI language model, I cannot browse the web in real time, so I cannot provide you with the most up-to-date for 2023. What? So it goes on to give me 2021 information because that's all it has available. Until now. Because if you're using the Bing browser, which is method number one, we're gonna talk about the second method, which is even more powerful. If you're using the Bing browser over here like this, or Microsoft Edge, as it were, we can come over here to the side. You're gonna see this little B up here, and it's gonna bring up this box. Now, in this, I can actually say, find me 2023 e-bikes that are cheap. Boom, it'll actually go out there and find real live information because this sucker is plugged into the internet. And we can see here, it will find the information. Now, there's a little bit of a hang up and that is that it's not gonna provide gigantic reports and articles just yet. However, I did find a workaround. So watch this video all the way through and I'll teach you how that works. So here we have the top e-bikes. We can say, you know, find me 20 of them, find me 15 of them, or we can even say, right, me an article about those e-bikes, prices, and sizes. And it's gonna go through and write me an article about this information. Now, again, we're gonna have to kinda cut and paste this together because what it's doing is it's searching different things like electric-biking.com or this one where it's looking at three or four different websites. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of legwork, which isn't that difficult with the tool I'm about to show you. Now, one of the other things that not a lot of people are paying attention to is the fact that I can actually go on a web page and this ChatGPT is actually checking it out for me and looking at exactly what I'm looking at. So wait a minute, I can get real time data right now about a website that I'm looking at right then and there? Yeah, here's how it works. If I was to search for the latest Jake Paul lawsuit, apparently there's a lot of them, we could actually go through and copy all the information on this page, and it's gonna pop up saying, send selected text to chat. I can send this to chat and ask it to give me a summary, expand on it, or revise it, or explain it. So if I say explain, it's gonna go through and explain what this data is actually about. It'll summarize it and make a nice little article kind of thing right like this, which is actually really cool. Think about the power of being able to go to a site and say, let's say we're gonna look at the top 10 side hustles. Let's say we're gonna go for the top 10 side hustles and I just wanna get a list of the top sites that have all this information. I could simply go to a site like this, hit control A, That'll throw it right here in this box, hit send. Then I can say, strip out all the side hustles. It's gonna go through and find all the side hustles for me. So I could literally find the top 100 sites, strip out the side hustles, bada bing, bada boom, I'm ready to go. Apparently, we need to retry it. And then there we go, we got real estate, land, all kinds of different side hustles. And we could use this to create content about research, go through and list the top side hustles that other people are talking about, keep an eye on the latest data, and on and on we go. I can even go through and get the transcript from a video, right like this, and I can put this right over here, send, and then I can summarize the video. This is going to make the research time to create blog posts, content, videos, short videos, and all the things that put money in your pocket literally by a factor of a thousand. I can even have it extract data from a website or a post or anything like that. So I can go over here, control A to select everything. It pops up over here, I'll hit send, and then I'll ask it to take out only the domain names. I've been using ChatGPT for this for a long time where I can take out a number, a character, 
a character, a code, or whatever it is, I can extract exactly what I want like that without having to spend countless hours tediously going through the keyboard editing a code or a document. And you can see it strips out the domains for us in a very, very simple way. I can now take this list of domains and do all kinds of stuff with it, including put it in my keyword tool, do research, or whatever it is. And if you want a simple way to make money with this, you can see over on Fiverr, there's tons of people that offer services where they will do data extraction, data mining, and all kinds of things like that that ChatGPT can now do in the blink of an eye. But it gets better because not only can I say, what are the top 2023 side hustles and get up to the minute information, but I can also extract data, change documents, create PDFs, Excel files, and pretty much anything. And now before we get into the extra special tool that you didn't even know existed because no one's talking about it, and I only found it by accident, I wanna show you how to use this to make this work in a real world way. If you use your Microsoft Edge add-on and get the data, we can actually go to the regular ChatGPT and have it expand on it. So I can go here and say, write me an article about these top 10 side hustles. Now that I know they're the best 2023 ones, we're ready to go. Write me an article about these side hustles. Put them in there like that, and boom, we are ready to go. And you can see here that this is extremely easy. This is content that we can actually use to make some good content, blog posts, or even sell articles on other websites. We can even ask this to find the top financial news of today. And it's gonna go through and find the top financial news. So if I'm doing a YouTube channel or a blog and I wanna stay up to date, boom, this is gonna do the work for us in a very simple way. Then I can go and summarize it in the composer over here and use insights to find even more information. This is actually an extremely powerful tool to be able to make money online. And then yesterday I go to talk to my employees on Skype and I see this Bing chat notification pop up. And this is where it gets really cool. They actually embedded ChatGPT into Bing. And it's not the ChatGPT that everyone else is using with the old data. No, this is brand new right now searching the web. As you can see here, I asked it to write me a promotional message for Skype. We're gonna talk about Skype groups and how to make money in an upcoming video. So make sure you smash a like button and keep an eye out for that. I also went through and asked it the top news headlines of today to make sure that it was up to date. And yes, it was. Then I asked it to summarize the Jake Paul, Lindsay Lohan SEC lawsuit. And guess what? It did that perfectly. And the cool thing about using Skype is it's in addition to a browser. So I could use this in conjunction with ChatGPT or any other tool that I'm using. I can copy and paste stuff to my blog. I can use this to create a video without using my face, or maybe I want to use my face. Whatever it is, this is going to help us create content like crazy. I also went through and asked it if it can set a reminder and it said not yet, but that might be something coming up in the future where I can have it remind me of a domain on sale or a call I need to make or whatever it is. I even asked it how to make money with Skype. More about that later. Then I had a little chat with it about the top electric bikes in 2023. And I even had it create me content about those electric bikes, including pricing, links, and everything. Then I asked it to find me some financial news and had it even drill deeper to find financial news on Forbes. I asked it about the latest Fed rate hike, which it said was in March 2023, which was just yesterday, showing us that this thing is actually online getting real-time information. Then I got some data on the March Madness basketball game to see if it was up to date, and yes, it was. There's information from yesterday. And in real time, I can just talk to this thing and get data right now. So if I say something like, find me today's top financial news, right like this, it's gonna go through and find me the top news and you can compare it with the Bing News homepage and see that it is actually up to date. Then I can have it summarize it, extract certain data, create a blog post about it. The sky is literally the limit. And not just that, but over here on Bing, we have ChatGPT right here like this, where we can talk to this and get content real time, up to date, on the web right now.
And if you want to learn how to use this stuff to make tons of money, check out the links in the description, smash a like button, and I'll see you in the next video.